take Dave. See, it would take, that's why I say elect me king. Because as long as you have a Congress, the way white people set this shit up, it's beautiful for white people. Checks and balances, executive branch, legislative branch, judicial branch. That's because we think everyone else thinks the way we do. Yeah, they don't. That's they, our genetic flaw. Exactly. That's your genetic flaw. Arrogance. Arrogance. You're, you're arrogance. A grieving family is pleading for justice tonight after a 19-year-old woman is shot and killed on her way home from work. Her family believes 19-year-old Jasmine Green was an innocent victim caught in the crossfire of a gang shooting. They want anyone with information to come forward. KTLA Samantha Cortese spoke to family members and joins us live in Hollywood with the latest tonight, Sam. Micah and Cher, this family is Man. traumatized. Again, a 19-year-old Jasmine Green was just parking her. She looked like a hot Ashley Banfield, whatever that lady name is. Who is this show? Oh, okay. He's a hot something. Micah and Cher, this family is traumatized. Again, a 19-year-old Jasmine Green was just parking her car when she was shot in the head in South LA. Tonight, the family held a news conference. They're asking the city to put up money for information that would lead to get justice for Jasmine. I love helping people. Yes, that's what she loved doing. Last Tuesday night, Jasmine Green was on her way home from work. She told her mom she was tired and she would come see her in the morning. 20 minutes later, I got the phone call. And, and from that point on, just been all downhill. She had just pulled onto 105th and South San Pedro Street. And she was parking and some unknown people just started shooting. A bullet hit Jasmine in the head. Three days later, 19-year-old Jasmine died at the hospital. Her family is devastated. They say Jazzy worked multiple jobs, just graduated from Mayfair High School, and was studying to be a medical assistant. She had a smile that was out of this world. She just got her car. Um, so yeah, she was uh, she was doing everything right. The family the believes this was gang-related, and Jasmine got caught in the crossfire. They were joined by friends, religious leaders, and community activists at Southside Bethel Baptist Church in South LA to plead for an end to violence. Wow. That's a weak-ass um, fucking balloon release, man. Well, maybe it's they were the eco-conscious ones. They realized that they released one balloon for every kid killed that they'd clogged up the water with. Yeah, man. Salute the boy Kachina, man. Society of Benevolence, thank you and those you think. Salute the um boy Kachina, man. Our Nation Hall of Famer, man. Um man. But she gets shot on her way home from work. <laughs> and nobody gives a shit. <laughs> what gives you shit about any of these people, man? It's gotta be a white guy who killed a black person. Or caused the death of a black person or slaughtered hey. a black person. Hey, come on, guys. Give it a chance. They'll probably get on CNN later on. Yeah, right. <laughs> this right here, this, this, this ain't got a shot in the hell. What's her name? Jasmine Green. What's her name? Jasmine Green. We are demanding justice for Jasmine Green. We're calling upon LA City Council member Marquise Harris Dawson to have a reward motion introduced to help bring her murderer to justice. No one deserves to die. No one deserves to die and be shot and killed. Whoever did this, or if you know who did it or what, I know you can't sleep at night. I know that you sick, cause you- <laughs> Oh shit. Oh yeah, I bet. Staying up night. She can't really believe that. She's from the community. She can't believe that. She I, knows I, she, that's bullshit. She knows that's bullshit. She knows that that person gives two shits about this. Only thing that person's thinking about is, is am I getting caught? Did there's a camera? Did they see me? Is somebody gonna snitch? They don't give a fuck about that girl. Whoever did this, or if you know who did it or what, I know you can't sleep at night. I know that you're sick 
because you got the wrong person. You got an innocent person. And all this black on black crime, this is ridiculous. We get mad if somebody out of our color kills us or hurts us. It's a big thing and we want to mark. What about the blacks killing the blacks? Salute. Salute. Salute to her. Real ship. And she got canceled. Salute to her, man. She... Salute to you. I, we we got to hear that one more time. Real so much person truth. And all this black on black crime, this is ridiculous. We get mad if somebody out of our color kills us or hurts us. It's a big thing and we want to mark. What about the blacks killing the blacks? When is it going to stop? Enough is enough. I just hope whoever it is turn themselves in and just get in the darkness. I was just emailing with council member Marquise Harris Dawson's office. They said they are aware of this request and are working on a response. LAPD said they will update us when they have new information about the case. In the meantime, the family is just hoping someone will see this, hear their pleas and come forward for now.